Yo, folks, we gotta talk about people shipping real people. And for those of you in my audience that don't know what shipping is, shipping is the act of putting two characters together in a romantic thing. Mostly it's fictional characters, but what I'm about to talk about are people, are like instances where people be people would be shipping like actual actual real life people now listen listen see I'm not really worried about that because I play a character you know because Bugsy Kuro isn't really myself it's an amped version of myself but not really me And I'd be weirded out if y'all just like shipped me with some with some like random YouTuber I ain't never met. Like I'd be like, what the? F I'd be like, what the fuck? Okay, but like y'all gotta stop shipping real people with like real. You should stop shipping real people with, with together with other people from YouTube. It's really stupid. It's lame. Shipping should be a hobby that everybody should enjoy, but it should be just fictional characters because these actual people, you know, because some of these people use their actual names and I never, I never really did. Bugsy No Name is just kind of a suit. Bugsy No Name, Bugsy No Name is just a pseudonym that I use that I treat like my actual name, but it's not really my name. See? But I'd be, but you know, I'd be a certain kind of way if someone actually used my actual name and just shipped me with somebody. That'd be weird. You know. And y'all need to stop shipping Jane and the odd ones out, man. They real people. We probably got their own fucking relationships and shit. What if, like, what if Jane gets a fucking boyfriend, right? And y'all, you guys are like, Hey, dude. Why, Jane, why you ain't with the odd ones out? You guys are the only ones that, you guys are the only ones that should be together. It's stupid. And I've seen people who get mad when the actual real life people are dating somebody. And they're all mad at the person that they're dating. Because their ship doesn't support them actually having their actual, like, ship. Let me give you another instance. There are some of the people from Ed World that had to quit the crew because of all the rent, because of all the shipping. Because some of them wanted to, you know, get another job. And how is it going to look when they look at their name and it's like x or x or x x x Matthew or X-Ed. That person with, like, X-Ed is like a bunch of... It's a bunch of Yaoi, man. That like, like, and I got nothing against Yaoi, but like, man, these employers—they're gonna be like, what the? They're gonna be like, why is your name on this? You know, and shit like that. It fucks with them. And I know, I know, y'all want that. Y'all want that to happen. Y'all want to play little Miss Matchmaker, but not with real people. I don't care. What I don't care. What I don't care what age you are, it's not cool. It's not cool because these are actual real life people. And don't go, well, Bugsy, but Bugsy, I use their YouTube personas. That's still a part of who they. That is still them. I ain't gonna talk about the uh, not safe for work art. That's gonna happen regardless. But if you're shit from real people, that to me is fucked up. Like I saw the Mar and you know, the thing about Markiplier and Jack said the guy, you know, they, you know, they knew that the people shit them together and they played around with it. They played around with it for a while. You know, they weren't really, they were just like goofing around with you guys and, you know, enjoying it. But y'all took it to the next level and that's when they stopped doing it. I don't care what you all think. Jane Animations is not going out with the odd ones out. They probably like more platonic friends. Hell, they could he they could think of each other as like brother. They might think of each other like family, and y'all want to do that shit. 
for all you know. Y'all don't know y'all know shit about these people. All you see is like like I say to every person that tries to troll me, all you see is what I want you to see. All I, all all they all they want you to see is what they want you to see. They'll talk about their lives and stuff. But they you you notice they ain't never you ain't never heard Jane Animation talk about if she had a boyfriend. Because all you fucking crazy, horny, really horny motherfuckers will go like, eh. Be like, Jane, please. Get down with me. And to me, that's just fuck. that's weird, man. I feel like, you know, certain people ship uh, Jin because I've, I've seen that some people want to get down with Jane herself. And that's kind of creepy to me. Like, dudes. Let me just tell you something. Dudes, dudettes, folks, comrades, chums, people who watch me. I am telling you this because shipping people together is creepy. You shouldn't ship people together because they're real people with their own emotions and their own feelings. Yo, shipping shit. Yeah, shipping fictional characters, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Some people can be toxic when shipping fictional characters, but inherently, if you're not hurting anybody, there's nothing wrong with that. But by shipping real people, you are hurting them. You're hurting them because, like, think about it. What, like, say, like, okay, say Jane Animations is trying to get a date, right? And, like, she finds a dude that she's she want to do she what she want to be with she's chilling out she's chilling out having a blast and then you know some some cringe mother some some cringy Jane animation fans like no you should be with the goblins now they don't approve of this acting like they need like they need your approval they want to fucking date somebody To me, that is the most stupidest thing y'all could do. Shipping real people. Now, if we talking about fictional people, like actual fictional characters, I'm down. We'll talk about that. We'll, I do a whole freaking show called Shipping Busters. But anybody who ever asks me, will you ship this real person with this real person? I gotta tell you this. With every ounce of sincerity in me, fuck no. Stop shipping real people. Because I gotta be, I gotta be one hundred percent with you. I gotta be one hundred percent. If you ship in like real life people, and you're getting really involved in like what they're doing, that's pretty much saying you want to live life through them vicariously. And you should probably want to get down. With, you should probably want to get with someone you want to be with, man or woman or whatever. You need to. You know, y'all need to get with someone who wants to be with you because obviously you want a love connection, but you want to live vicariously through your favorite YouTuber. And you shouldn't do that because they're people too. You know, they're not your dolls where you can just hold them up and say, kiss. They're people. And you have to realize that. Again, not talking about the safe work art. That is always going to be a thing no matter what. But y'all need to chill. Y'all need to chill. I don't care if I get every fucking uh, wins out Gene Animation fan mad at me for that. Y'all need to chill because these are real people. And whether you li whether you like to hear it or not, this this does affect them. So while you're having your little fun with your little ships, you know you're having fun with your little ships, and you're thinking you're thinking. That no, Bugsy, you're wrong. No, I'm right. You're really fucking. You're really gonna fucking do some long term damage to them. It's the internet. Y'all can do what you want, but remember, it's it. It will get worse the more you all do it. The more anybody looks up their names and they find, you know, say if they look up like, say if they look up, say if Jane looks up like. Jane Animation XX 
um, what was the other, that's one of the other, uh, that, Sugar, or whatever her name is. Like, whatever her name is, really, I can't really remember. Like, you can't be shipping real people together, you know? To me, that's just wrong, because again, like I said before, they're people too, and you can't just be doing that. I say, instead of trying to get random people to find a love connection, you, I say you, out there, you, go find somebody. Oh yeah, I'm telling you, go find somebody and just see where that goes. Or just go back to shipping fictional characters, either way. Because at least with fictional characters, nobody gets hurt. Nobody gets called out, no one gets fucking exposed, slammed, or shamed. We're all just shipping characters. Boom. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, shipping people, shipping real life people, can lead to some negative effects. Whether you see that or not. So, think the next time you want to ship your favorite YouTuber with another favorite YouTuber you love. Think before you do. Truly think before you act. That's all I gotta say. Peace, everybody.